Shout out to San Quint. This video is for you. I hope you enjoy it. We will be doing Richard Sherman for this video. So let's scatter. Richard Sherman, the cornerback out of Compton, California, went to Stanford, got drafted in the fifth round to the Seattle Seahawks, and one of the big-time players for the Legion of Boom. Literally, in my opinion, arguably one of the best cornerbacks in the league right now, if not the best cornerback in the league. A lot of people got different opinions, but hey... When you talk rings, Richard Sherman is one of those guys that you got to put up there because he does have a ring and he does lock down his side. Yes, he doesn't lock down the best, uh, you know, he doesn't follow the best receiver everywhere, but he does lock down his side and he plays in that system that he is in very well. And you can't hate him for that. But we're bringing him back to the NCAA and playing with him at Stanford. I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't even remember Richard Sherman at Stanford, so this is going to be fun for me. This was a very fun video for me to just play with Richard Sherman and, you know, try to do Sherman-like things. Right here, I messed up, as you guys can see. I hit the LT button, started to strafe, and I knew that messed me up. Got me a little bit back behind the right receiver. If I didn't, you know, press that button, I probably would have got a touchdown. Great out route right there by the receiver. Great move. Them, uh, not out route, in route. Those in routes are very hard to stick, man. Them, you know what I mean? Um... Man, we're going to try our best to keep sticking them. Offense is not really doing nothing. And I think that was just how Stafford was this year. They had uh, McCaffrey. But other than that, they really didn't have nobody. You know what I mean? And it kind of is showing right there, man. Just giving the quarterback too much time. And you can't expect any corner, no matter how good the corner is, to stick their man the whole like for so long. You know what I mean? For like more than 10 seconds. Like. That's what the D-line comes in, and they got to get pressure. The D-line don't get pressure. The receiver can make so many, you know, random routes up and stuff and get open and just find space. So, there really wasn't our fault right there. Just no pressure by the D-line. Great blocking by the O-line, I guess. 10 to nothing, as you guys can see, with about a minute left in the game. I do only play these games on three minutes just because these are just fun, quick little games, and I really just don't want to be out here all day playing and playing them, you know what I mean? Especially when I'm on offense, I can have a lot of highlights and things like that. I guess defense, I should do five minute gameplays, but I feel like most of my defensive gameplays, they already they've been kind of cool with just three minute videos, so there's that. But like I said, if you guys do want that um, Lamar Jackson video today, 10 likes had to be on the last video I posted today, the Brandon Sanders video. I'm going to go back and I'm going to see if that likes is up there because if it is, I'm going to be doing that video. I still got to be, um, I still got to do the grind video. Um, that video should have been out yesterday, just like this video should have been out yesterday, but I've been busy, been busy today. But I'm still going to get you out at least those um, this video and the grind video and maybe even a Lamar Jackson video on a little bit late night. So y'all stay tuned for that. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys are enjoying this series, go ahead and give me a go ahead and comment, <laughs> like, subscribe. And like I said, um, 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 UMass will be out tomorrow. So expect the UMass video tomorrow. First game play. And yeah.